would not believe what I just heard. Okay, I'll tell you. That's not Sabrina's real nose. It's not? Don't you get it? She had surgery. Why? What's wrong? Never mind. <laughs> All right, everyone, to your stations. <laughs> you know what today is? It's Boond Kuchen Freitag. It's Bunt Friday. <laughs> get your pans. Now, did you know that Richard Nixon's favorite snack food was the Bunt? Oh, he'd eat it secretly and then deny it. But if you listen closely to those tapes, Smell your bunts. Smell your neighbor's bunts. Mm. We got really lucky. Our Dutch chocolate looks much better than Libby's 14 grain. You know, I think maybe I'll offer a piece of our cake. Why? Just to show she can't get to us. You're a much nicer person than I am. Hi, Libby. Ooh. Sabrina. Uh, do you want to try a piece of our cake? Like I taste anything you gave me. What's in it, poison? No, just chocolate. <laughs> Lots of chocolate. Really? And sprinkles. Oh, all right. But I'm not going to start being nice to you. That's OK. I just want to ask you one question. Libby, what have you been saying about Jenny and me behind our backs? <laughs> like I told you. OK, here's what I was saying. <laughs> I was saying that her father's in jail and that she cheats on tests. And then I threw in that you had a nose job. But those are all lies. You don't have to tell me. What's going on? I was just telling Sabrina all the rumors we've been spreading about her. Why? She's not in the loop. So? And, by the way, it was Jill who made up the nose job story, which is actually very funny because, uh, she's the one who... <gasps> you swore you'd never tell! And Cece, she kisses her Pete Sampras poster every night. <gasps> that was That's super rich! rich. Now I'm gonna tell everybody about your mom. Yeah, I have a feeling Libby will be spreading any more lies. Are you serious? How did you do that? Piece of cake. <laughs> hey, did you see a container of sprinkles on the counter? Yeah, Mrs. Bazigian took him. She got really excited and started putting them on all the buns. Then she left the room. Gotta go. Mrs. Bazigian? Mrs. Bazigian? Oh, my goodness. Offering free food to teachers? I'm lucky I didn't lose a hand. You took our cake to the faculty lounge? Yes, and the sprinkles were a delightful touch. Oh, no. Is there a problem? I think I'll skip class. Truth is, I don't want to be here any more than the kids do. And I can still make the fifth race. <laughs> no, it's fine, and who knows? Might make the world a better place. That's the spirit of Bunt. And you say you're a size three when you're really a size five. Yeah. Mm. Well, remember when I swore I didn't kiss Danny? I did. A lot. Hi, Harvey. How's your cake? Good. And you know, I didn't just take home at because Coach told me to. I like to cook. I like it a lot. <laughs> hey. Hey, I, I saved us a piece with sprinkles. Mm. Well, you go first. Wow, it's good. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like I lied to you yesterday. You lied to me? About what? The truth is I'd rather go to the slicery alone with Harvey tonight. Just the two of you? I think Harvey and I might be soulmates. And you said you only liked him as a friend, so you don't mind, right? Yeah, sure. Perfect, I'll go tell Harvey you're not coming. Sabrina, you didn't get any cake. No, you know, I'm really not very hungry. 